Hey, it's me, Tim, and I'm back with another tutorial slash video. Really not tutorial. Anyhow, I just want to talk about something today that has uh, been on my brain for the past couple of days now, and that is drums. Um, so it's no secret that drums are the most important aspect of your music, especially in the hip hop and trap and rap music space. Um, if your drums ain't hitting and they don't sound good or they ain't cutting through the mix well, it for the most part can be the deal breaker of a song. So drums is highly important when it comes to making sounds and, and making your music, not making your sounds, but making your music, making the track sound good and you know, get, getting the attention or, yeah, captivating the attention of your, your listener. Um, the flip side is, is like you, you got almost two problems. One, uh, if you're new to this, um, you got to figure out how to get good sounding drums. And you got to figure out how to get good sounding drums without sounding like everybody else. Because that's another thing now too everybody's using the same trap drums the same hip-hop drums for the most part in the you know in the urban space and so how do you distinguish yourself from everybody else how do you make your drums stand out and so I kinda wanna go over some tools that may help you get the drums that you are looking for but I'm gonna talk about the strengths and weakness of each of those different tools and how to best use them and so I got reason open up and I want to talk about physical modeling synthesis in general and if you you know if you starting out and you got your DAW and you you're looking for good sounds most of the time your DAW will, will give you a, a good foundation or a basic starting point. However, sometimes that may or may not be enough, but depending on what DAW you use, um, you might not only get like your basic standard drum player, drum kit, you may also get something like this tool here that not only allows you to play sounds, but it allows you to shape your own drums. And that is the beautiful thing about this device right here in Reason. It's called Kong. Um, it, it, unless you have never used Reason before or have just been under a rock, if you had Reason, you knew what this is. Um, the advantage of a device like Kong is its physical modeling engine. Not only can you play samples, you can load up to four samples in this device. Um, you can also do rex files and chop up loops and mix them up, slice them, reverse them, and all that good jazz. But then you also got these physical drum models, which will allow you to make your own sounding drums. <laughs> I messed that up. Anyhow. This will allow you to make your own drums. And again, I focus more on sound design. The advantage of having a physical modeling drum synth engine or physical modeling engine is that it basically mimics the behavior of specific drums, but it, it, it I'm trying to put it simplistically, it offers synthesis parameters around shaping the tone of that sound. So in this case, this is a bass drum engine, and I have these various parameters that will allow me to shape the tone of the drum sound. It's different from sampling because the sampler will not allow me to do this. I can't necessarily adjust the tune, the bend amount, the damp, the shell level, the overall level, beater level, density, and so forth of a bass drum 
like I can with this type of engine. Um, I'm not gonna go through all these, but you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different engines that you can use to shape your sound. And you can use the acoustic side, which is what this is, or you can use the analog side. So if you want that TR-808 feel, you can do that in here. Not gonna spend a lot of time with it. These people aren't paying me. And so <laughs> I'm not trying to be a jerk. But one thing about any doll that you use, in my humble opinion, um, they are simply tools that you use to help you get busy. You pay them. They're not paying you. So the next tool that's also physical modeled in terms of its instrument is this device right here. It's from ImageLine. It's called Drum Max. The nice thing about this is it comes included with FL Studio. Uh, I think you have to buy the signature version. But if you don't want to buy the DAW and pay for the signature version, you can just buy the VST. And again, this is a physical model instrument. And so, actually, in this case, I think it uses a couple of different. Um, abilities in order to shape its drum sounds but again it's physical modeling so what that means is tools like these you're not necessarily dealing with recycled sounds and you know it gives you the ability to build your own drum sound from scratch um, and so if I didn't have anything else and I was looking to make drums and I was in a pinch I would definitely have these in my arsenal to make drum sounds and you can make decent sounding sounds and you're not going to run the risk of a using recycled stuff and potentially getting sued because that is a thing yes I'm playing with the demo I'm showing this for you guys all right so there's drum max um, I have done a overview of the new drum synth engine in the Akai software as a version 2.9. It also has um, the ability to help you scope your own sounds from the ground up because of the engine it's using. Um, I'm not going to go over that because quite frankly the demo version I use is expired and um, I already put a video of that information out there so you can just go watch that. But the, if you have MPC, um, the software, or any of their, the live or the ones, that synth engine is built in and it allows you to build your drums from scratch. Um, so that's another one. Also, if you got machine, don't, well, I'm gonna say it and I could be wrong, but the last time I read as a version two, when machine two came out, they gave the ability inside the software to make your own drum sounds so again machine has that ability as well so if you're looking for a way to make drums from scratch um, out the gate relatively quickly um, any of those instruments that I have mentioned will work wonders for you. Uh, the only flip side, when you're dealing with physical modeling instruments, they work based on, you know, the parameters put into the instrument itself. So you're limited by that. On the other hand, I ain't gonna say on the other hand, also, if you're trying to get some of those um, popular tones, like a, a heavy uh, bass 808, you're going to have to put some work in. So um, if you're into making drums or you want to get into making drums, I would really set some time aside because it's going to take some time to get used to the program, get used to all the parameters, get used to how it's working, uh, know what does what, 
and, and really sit time uh, sit down and take the time to know your instrument so that you can get the sound that you want but once you figure out how to program it um, you can get a lot of mileage out of these and this is a, a very good way to get started so that's the that's the pro and the con when it comes to these type of drum synth engines um, I don't know if there's other DAWs that have different one, uh, instruments similar to these but I do know Reason, FL Studio, uh, Machine, MPC, they all have the ability to uh, allow you to build drums from scratch um, as well as do sampling, which again, that's a huge advantage. Um, now let's say you don't have that type of engine in your DAW then you could either buy a third party. So you could buy um, the VST from ImageLine as a third party VST and play it in any DAW. So that's one option. Um, same thing, I think MPC will, in software format, you can use it as an instrument within your DAW. Um, it is pretty the NPC instrument as a whole is pretty expensive for the physical modeling engine. I don't know if they let the Beats version allow you to play all that stuff, you know, out the gate. I don't think it included the synth drum. The, uh, yeah, I don't think it included the synth drum engine in Beats. So, VSTs, and I'm just going over the ones real quick. Um, most samplers, most most dolls have a decent drum playback device. I played with Bitwig. Um, I played with Sheesh. I played with FL Studio. Um, haven't messed with Studio One, but my understanding is it has a, a decent uh, drum player. I played with the basic Ableton. It has a, a decent drum player, like a. You could throw your samples in and get to work. So most standard, you know, instruments in your DAW can get you through. But if you if you're not satisfied with those, then I would recommend battery. I got battery three and four, but I would recommend battery. I'm waiting on it to load up. Come on. Battery is pretty dope because it allows you to do a lot of stuff to your drums. And you can not only process drums, but you can process one shots and anything else in the instrument while you're at it. And it has a lot of different effects that you can use. So, I mean, you got your pitch envelope velocity engine you can change the type of sampler you can make it vintage sp12 you can select a different type of filters even the mp60 that's all in battery you can adjust your filter your compressor you got your effects unit here different stuff for modulation i'm not going to go through all this i'm just showing you uh, so if you if you wanted something that would give you a little bit more process and power to your your drum samples or you just wanted something that would help you get started and give you a nice collection of drum samples I I, I recommend battery So yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole deal and do a demo. So yeah, I would recommend battery. Um, an alternative to battery, if you got the money, I would ref uh, recommend Geist. Again, it's another one that's uh, sampler based. Geist kind of has a built-in sequencer into it and 
yeah, I'm not going to say it has a, a, a piano roll type deal, but you could do a lot of heavy drum sequencing within Geist. Um, so Geist would be very good. I know um, Logic just updated its stuff, but before that, Logic was not necessarily the uh, DAW for drums. Um, you could not do it as easy uh, prior to its uh, recent update. And so if you got a DAW like that, or even like, let's say, uh, Cakewalk, because Cakewalk doesn't necessarily have good drums in it, then I would get something like Battery or Geist. Or, yeah, Battery or Geist, those would be my two top picks. Now, um, if you really uh, want to bypass all that, and you like, you, I don't really feel like processing my drums, and... I'm not really trying to I'm not trying to, to to do all that. I ain't trying to make drums from scratch. I'm not really trying to process drums. I just want to put my drums in and go. And you really don't care about your DAW because you know how to work it and none of that's an issue. Then uh, I got a couple drum kits that I would recommend. Yes, I have hordes of them um, because when I make music, I make, I get the tools so I can make whatever I want to, however I want to. Um, so, if you want good drum sounds that will help you stand out from everybody else, uh, one drum kit that I recommend, Curtis King Drum Kits. I got some stuff from him through an email years ago. And when I heard the drum kits, they were awesome. So then I got a couple more that I picked up. Again, they were awesome. And I'll let you hear a few of them. They just cut through the mix. They just cut through really well. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I just wanted you to hear some of those briefly. Curtis King is one that does a really good job. And now he's teamed up with, uh, I think his name is, oh gosh, Leotis, Slap Experts. Again, um, I would recommend his stuff. And I would recommend this company. Um, if you're going to go that route and you just want to plug and go, then... That's one option. The other option is let's look for if I can find Decap. Drums that knock. Uh, one thing I like about Decap, his claim is that he does not use recycled drum sounds. Um, yes. These also cut well through a mix. And these are the demos. I'm not doing loops. Let's see, we got, let's see, we got the kicks. All right. So that's another one. Drums That Knock uh, from DCAT. Um, again, he tends to build his stuff from scratch. So when you get his stuff, you, you're not buying the remix version of FL Studio drums or the remix version of reason drums and <clears throat> i'm not necessarily knocking on people who do that you know but if i'm paying for a kit uh, i don't care if i'm paying five dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars or one dollar um if all i'm getting is a remix version of, of what's already in in the stock drum set of reason or ableton or fl studio uh, please go back to the drawing board and and don't sell me that um, Do better and Decap does excellent in my opinion uh, Likewise if I can find it the I picked this one up a while back 
I wanted to test it out if I could find it inside a bundle. Let me see. Come on. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have did that. I'm looking for Sound Oracle. Because I got... There we go. Subscriber, here we go. Stop. There we go. Insider Bundle, Sound Oracle. I caught this on the advertisement sale for like seven bucks. Um, usually they cost more, but I imagine this was uh, this was just a promo, and it was very good. And again, he is one that makes his drums from scratch. And you hear how they sound. When you hear these versus your standard, you know, <clears throat> trap music, drum kit, pack, whatever, these all stand out. They have a, a different sound. Um, like they sound similar. They got the overlap. The sonics are there. But there's definitely a different characteristic about each of these drum kits that I have utilized and and yes they're all similar like how many times can you do the 808 but those subtle differences in the in the kicks and the snares and the claps and the hi-hats they all they all add to the sound of your music to, to give it that one extra or additional feature to help your music stand out. So I recommend these out the gate. Um, I also recommend I've used the free version of uh, Spicy Sundays, uh, just taking a listen to like what they do and how they get down. Um, their stuff is royalty free. The loops, I can't remember if they have drums in their stuff let's find out i'm gonna do this real quick shout out to them dudes spicy sunday cmp mg the future spicy sundays let's throw one in there now oh, see these are all loops so these are not these are not drums so i will get on loops another day um yeah this was all about the drums so yeah Physical modeling drums, if you can, if you can get it, if you can find them, um, if not a good VST like Battery Geist, yeah, it costs a little bit of money, but it definitely go a long way. And if I didn't feel like buying those, and I just wanted, you know, kits clean out the gate, um, any of the aforementioned kits from Curtis King, uh, Slap Experts, uh, Sound Oracle, uh, Decap. Um, I recommend those um, because they sound good and they each have their strengths and their weaknesses like I said earlier um, the physical modeling drums if you want to build your own drums from scratch they will allow you the most freedom you only limit it by the parameters and it, it takes a while to you know really learn your instrument but once you do it, it gives you the highest payoff Something like Battery or Geist, um, they're mainly for you know controlling the sample samples that you get, um, but because of the effects within them and the features within those VSTs, they can really help those samples to stand out and shape the tones and make them sound really, really good and really unique. Um, and if you want to just uh, come out the gate and you don't want to worry about processing, you ain't really trying to make your drums from scratch, then go with a good drum pack like a Curtis King, a Sound Oracle, a Decap, um, any of those guys. I I'd also probably check out an Av McCree and the MG The Futures and the CMPs and I'm curious. I want to check out Bolo, the uh, the producer. I want to check out his drum kits. But 
any of those guys I would recommend um, because of their experience and what they have. And um, from my understanding, they really take their time to go through great links to make sure they stuff sounds as good as they can get it. All right, so that's all I'm gonna talk about in this video. Um, if this was helpful, hit that like button. If it was not, um, hit that unlike button. Um, either way, have a great day.